When you hear off the grid, you probably think of living in a cute cottage in the woods like Ted Kaczynski. But you don't have to venture way the f into the wilderness to live like Ted. Meet Josh Spodek, astrophysicist, NYU professor, and real life Captain Planet. I used to empty my garbage weekly. Now I emptied my garbage once in 2019, once in 2018, once in 2017. Okay, twin, I also only take out my trash once a year. But recently, Josh went even further, taking his Manhattan apartment off the electrical grid completely. So what is your problem with electricity? Did it kill your family? It's or did it? Because I'm now realizing that's kind of something that could happen. I do use electricity. Uh, I have my solar panels that I take up to the roof and charge the battery, and, but that's it. I try to minimize my footprint as much as I can. Now, um, what exactly is electricity? And I know the basics. It's the stuff that's in the air. Electricity actually is very complicated. When people think it's simple, I'm like, are you dumb? It in one sense, it's simple in that it just works because that's how it, it works it with is. gravity. Gravity. So we've learned to control this power through wires and wires batteries and, and batteries. things like that. So almost always you're going to be polluting. You're going to be polluting. And I don't want to pollute. <laughs> Josh's typical day as an eco warrior starts with cardio, going up 11 flights of stairs with his solar panels. His heavy, heavy solar panels. By the way, you know we're like breathing out carbon right now? Yeah, that's all part of the biosphere. Oh, but it's not bringing new carbon from outside the biosphere. I'll be right up there, man. Just give okay. me like one second. Luckily, I was able to find a task rabbit to go up the remaining 10 flights of stairs. I'll connect the solar panel to the battery. Cool. And it's not just about saving energy. Josh has also been living packaging free for a decade. Americans throw away 268 million tons of trash per year, which is enough to feed 10 rats. But Josh says there's a better way. I keep all my garbage here, and the last time I emptied this was Christmas 2019. So this is my fourth year on one load of garbage. Do you mind if I give this to you? Uh, I'd pass on that. Okay. <laughs> and if you bring a reusable container next time, this isn't reusable? People in the future will be dealing with it for 500 years or more. So 500 years, someone will be using it. Maybe my great-great-granddaughter. They won't be using it so much as it'll be in their bloodstreams. Plastic, it doesn't decompose. It messes with your hormonal system. It, it, it causes disease. You have quite the imagination. <laughs> Josh also uses that imagination in the kitchen. So this is split pea. I got carrot, beet, cabbage. I just put in nutritional yeast. It's like really fragrant. Bon appetit. I hope you like it. Mm. I think this will be better tomorrow after the flavors are mixed a bit more. Sure, like we just sure. The stew was so stew. And for dessert, a chunky kombucha to wash it all down. <laughs> That's like one of, one of the less good juices I've had in my life, but not the worst. Yeah, so the fruit has sugar. Mm, and then... Sugar, that's what it's missing. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I think there are places where Skittles were taken off the market for being that's so unhealthy. So, that's so effed up, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's liberal or conservative, but I do not eff with it. This way of life seemed really difficult. How was Josh keeping himself going? So this lifestyle may look like deprivation and sacrifice to others, but for me, it's really about joy. Totally. You seem very joyful. People are saying, you know, I compost, um, I recycle, and I do what I can, but I have to balance that with living my regular life. Right. That's usually what I'm saying to myself. And you think, well, do I have to think about every other person on the planet every That's time I do exactly anything? That's exactly how I think. <laughs> it's like you're reading my brain. But systemic change begins with personal change. I got to quote Abraham Lincoln here. Okay. Nothing damages you more than to do something that you believe is wrong. And, and, I'll, and I'll quote Abraham Lincoln. God bless America. <laughs> <laughs> he said that a lot. I, probably, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Um, actually, one of the things oh, about- And I'll quote Abraham Lincoln again. I gotta get me some Josh Spodek stew. <laughs> that was, if he were alive today, I think he would. Wow, Josh had inspired me, and I was ready to make a difference too, going a full 24 hours living life Spodek style. 
This is a day in my life with zero electricity and zero waste. I start my day by waking up. Whoops, no electricity <laughs> means no lights. Luckily, my toxic roommate isn't home, so I'm using her food to make my famous green glow smoothie. I start with bananas, some beautiful organic kale, one scoop of collagen, and then... Next up, a trip to PreCycle, a packaging-free store where you bring your own containers. Good thing I always travel with my Tupperwares. Josh, if you're watching, check it out, man. I'm really doing this. Hello. So these are um, oats right here. And then last but not least, um, these, this flour. Sure, yeah. You can probably just weigh my whole hand just to make it a little bit easier. Okay. I did it. Uh, that was only 90 minutes. <laughs> me! Woohoo! Thank you so much. I mean, you have the wrong apartment. Get out of here. Little did I know, things were about to get really, really bad. 1%? You said you had 5% 10 minutes ago. F you! Okay. <laughs> All good, bro. <laughs> All good, just me here with my thoughts. That's chill. <laughs> I know what to do. Sadly, I didn't make it. But you know what I did make? A difference. And that's something they can never take away from me.